So in this video, I would set up a new backend gateway for Broadcom CLA7 API. This is a VMware workstation. I will go to this file menu and then open up OVA file that we downloaded from Broadcom official site. I click it and I open it up. I give it a name. Our previous gateway was the front end gateway is FE Gateway 11. For this, I will name it to BE Gateway 11. Now uh, I have provided the path for its destination. I click on this import button. It would take a few moments to have it loaded. As you could see process is completed and VM is here. The first step that you guys need to do is go to this VM edit. Go to this VM settings. For net we'll be using this setting instead of bridge we can to change its settings all right so here as you can see there are details we need to go first make sure this checkbox is ticked that's to use local dhcp service to distribute ip addresses to vms this means a DHC service will be used to distribute the IPs among the different VMs. I click on this NAT settings. This is the gateway IP 192.168.183.2. I have noted it on my notepad here. Then I go to my subnet mask as you could see 255.255.255.0. I have noted it somewhere. Now I go to settings of this VM. As we don't require this CD DVD, I'm removing this up. Make sure memory is 2 GB allocated, processor is also 2 gigs, and hard drive. You can set it up uh, whatsoever suits your requirement. Here I have selected 60 GB as around 40 GB is required for this OS and other configurations to work. Moreover, you can add displays and any of the other settings that are available here. You could select from here and then you could add it to this VM. But I'm focusing on uh, this VM specifically instead of all the other configurations. As you could see, uh, this one is removed. For network settings, I will make it as bridged as these both are selected then i click on this ok button to have the settings applied now if i go back and see it's net for network adapter network address translation uh, this is used for those ip addresses instead of this bridged connection the next is uh, as you could see there is no cd and dvd more here now i'm good to start this video It's here now, I would provide its SSG config username for admin. Then I click its password. We need to set its password to a stronger one at first boot. Now I go to this fixed shell. On this restricted shell, I need to also reset my password here. I'm setting up a password that I could remember. Like all passwords are 
update it successfully now i go to this if config to see the ip of this one it's in here inet 192.168.183.169 i have noted it here on my notepad how i exit from this shell i go to this configure settings then i configure this network settings the first one will select interface on both about yeah it's we need it then we need to configure ip before addressing yeah we need it it's for protocol we need static one one nine two dot one six eight dot one eight three dot one six nine is the ip for net mask it's 2.5.2.5.2.5.0 and the gateway is 192.168.183.2 as you could see these are also noted here we can cross verify all right everything is set here we don't need to set up ipv6 so we are entering no for new interface in ipv6 would you like to change current interface yeah it's optional i'm keeping it as it is qualified name is be gateway 11.1 c these are all the other settings are as default for network and time settings uh, for time settings i'm keeping it as it is current time server settings i'm keeping it as it is do you wish to apply the settings here yep, i wish it's applying the settings now i could see i could go to this previous menu go to this restriction shell Log in here, then I need to go to this vi etc slash host file and I need to edit this file. We need to add this entry here and also the entry of its front end gateway here. The front end gateway is 192.168, that is FE gateway 11. We need to add both of these entry here so that this one would be the secondary and the first one that's already there would be the primary one. I'm pasting these two here. I'm exiting this one uh, to test this. Uh, we can go back and to test this we need to ping fp gateway 11 .ca. Okay, we can do this way yeah uh, the gateway is turned off that's why it's uh, saying uh, correct that it's the destination is unreachable first we can set this up then we can uh, ping both of these gateways now I'm exiting from here and I'm going to uh, reboot this gateway. I'm pressing yes. It's rebooting. I'm providing admin password. Now I'm going to second option. It says no not configured.
Now I'm going to set up a DB. I'm going to second menu and go to this second option to create database. This step is optional. Enter yes to continue or no to skip. DB connection it's by default. Yeah. DB host name it's local host port is 3306. DB name is default SSG. Username is gateway. Password I'm providing here. Reconfirmation yep. Username is root. And then admin password I'm providing it here. DB failover I'm keeping it as it is. Policy manager is admin. And password I'm providing here. Host name is beketway11.buneo.ca, keeping it as it is, pass phrase I'm providing here. Enabled, keeping it yes. Press enter to continue. It's here. Please wait while the configuration is applied. I'm waiting so that the settings that I configured in this page are applied to this node. This will take a few moments to have the setting applied. As you can see, settings are applied. Now I'm pressing enter. Now I'm going to restart this gateway. It would take some minutes to restart for these new settings to apply. Alright, the gateway is rebooted. Now I'm going to check for its config, check for its status that uh, either it's running or it still shows it's not configured. I'm going to select the second option that's to display layer 7 API gateway configuration. Then I'm going to press 7 that's to manage layer 7 API gateway status. It would take moments to configure. As you could see node status is running. This means our gateway is configured. Now I'm going to yeah, now I'm going it's in restricted shell to let you guys see its IP. As you can see it's with a similar IP that we configured. This way our gateway is configured.